obviously, as a team, you want to look forward, but the last two games against Italy have been victories for Scotland. So, if you have learned anything from them to take into to the game on, on Saturday, what, what would that be? I think that the forward battle, that's very key when playing against the Italian sides. They base themselves uh, around their forwards and their forward play, so we need to gain parity there and we need to better them in the forwards where we can. And you know, I've got every confidence the, the pack we've picked this weekend, uh, we can do that. So that, that'll be the starting point uh, for us going forward this weekend. What about fitness, Greg? I think you, you feel probably that, that, that Scotland are a, are a fit side, possibly fitter than the Italians. How does that manifest itself in terms of the way the game might go towards the latter end? Yeah, I think so. You know, If it's going to be a hard pitch, and um, I think we'll need to play for 80 minutes, which is probably a good thing for us. And, and I believe we're fair. We play against the sort of the Italian teams in the league, uh, both Edinburgh and Glasgow, and we've had a good record against them uh, in the league this season, both the teams. Um, and I think when you play them, you, you get a feeling. And I believe as a, a squad and as a whole, we, we are slightly fitter than them. And I think that will help us come the weekend. Should Scotland get ascendancy in the forwards, what's, what's key with your role when that happens? What do you have to do to support that? Well, if, if we're in ascendancy, we're on the front foot. For me, it's, it's about speed of ball, getting to the ball quickly, getting it in Duncan's hands nice and early so he, he's got plenty of time to, to make decisions. When you're on the front foot as a, as a 9 or a 10, your life's a whole lot easier. It's, it's, it's a good game to play. You know, you, you get made to look uh, good uh, sometimes, especially if you get a lightning quick ball. So. Obviously, we're hoping for that this weekend. Uh, hoping I can pick my running game up uh, a little bit more also, if that is the case. It was interesting talking to Duncan about how he, if you like, how he looks to, to place his kicks, whether it be with accuracy or whether it be just simply length. But the time that he has to kick is, is very small. So how do you ensure that he gets, he's in a comfortable position to, to put a good kick in? Oh, well, my delivery has got, has got to be perfect for him, basically. That can give him as much time as, as you have. You don't get a lot of time, as he says. And, uh, but when you're on the back foot, it's, it's a lot harder. A lot of the traffic's coming through you. So I can take a lot of pressure off him as well with my kicking game. And that's something that I've looked to do uh, in this championship and I'll look to do again this weekend. What are the, the kind of key messages? I know there are leaders within the, the, the team. It's not just the captain, but what are the kind of key messages that that the whole team has to take on board ahead of this game? Uh, the key message is we need, we need to defend um, defend well for, for uh, you know, periods of the game when we're under pressure. All rugby games sort of ebb and flow, uh, so we need to be switched on mentally. And, and this weekend, I feel it will be about, you know, holding on to the ball, just going through phases, going through phases, making Italy tackle us, get up, uh, back onto their feet and, and tiring them out. So if we can hold on to the ball this weekend and have a solid defence, yeah, that'll put us in a, in a great position to, to win the game, I think. Where do you expect to be defending? What areas do you, do you think they'll be pretty direct? They'll be direct. Yeah. As I mentioned before, their forward pack, uh, Sergio Parisi, a lot of revolves around him, uh, coming off the, the base of the scrums with little you know, sort of intricate plays, uh, you know, inside balls and stuff like that. So we'll be, we need to be switched on around about that at scrum time. Um, and then they'll be direct, so it's about making our first up tackles uh, and then going from there, slowing the ball down. How does that um, mix of, of back row work for you as well? Because that's, you're obviously the hinge in the team, you're, you're the link between the, you know, the forwards and the backs, so you're there to make that connection work. So how's the new kind of back row working for you from your point of view? Yeah, uh, there were slight changes again this weekend with Johnny coming in. And Johnny's a good player and he, I think he showed that coming off the bench. Uh, in, the, in the first couple of games, so um, that'll be good. And then the the back row very important, very important, along with the centres this weekend. They're the sort of boys that tend to make a lot of the tackles, a lot of the big tackles in the game. So between the five players, the, the back row and the two centres, uh, they need to be on the money. They need to be making their big shots and slowing the ball down. What's the the forecast for Rome on, on Saturday? Do you know what it is yet? I believe it's to be nice weather, which is, is always a good sign. Uh, it's always nice to play on a, a nice firm pitch, hopefully, uh, and hopefully the sun will be out.